Are you trying to blind me? I'm turning off the neuron that makes you a lazy potato using the power of light. Uh. Allow me to explain. Using light to control neurons is called optogenetics. The brain won't respond to light, so we need a protein, called an opsin, that naturally responds to light. One opsin used in optogenetics comes from green algae, or pond scum. You want to put pond scum in my brain? Precisely. To get opsins in the brain, neurons are genetically modified to produce them. We take the genetic material a cell can use to make an opsin, package it in a gutted virus, and insert it where we want opsins to be produced. You just said you're injecting a disemboweled virus into my brain. The virus is non-disease-causing, so you should be fine. Uh-huh. So we have pond scum in my brain. Now what? Now we use neurons and ions. Neurons send signals to communicate with the brain. An ion is a molecule that has a positive or negative electric charge and can enter a neuron. If mostly positive ions enter, the neuron fires a signal. If most are negative, the neuron stops firing. When we add the opsins and shine light on the neuron, the opsins let us choose whether positive or negative ions enter, so we control whether the neuron fires or not. Light lets us control which ions the opsins let in, but how do we tell the pond scum which ones to allow? Please drop the pond scum thing. Anyway, that's why we use different types of opsins and different colors of light. The two types of opsins are channel rod opsin and halo rod opsin. The channel rod opsin is the on opsin. It's activated by blue lights and lets positive ions enter. The halo rod opsin is the off opsin. It's activated by yellow light and lets negative ions enter. I see. So, now we can shine blue or yellow light onto the brain to control whether neurons fire or not. But how, how the heck do we get light, light inside, inside a brain? brain? Oh, we just put a hole in your skull and use a light pipe to rapidly deliver a flash of light. That is disgusting. Well, we do it to mice. Ew! We haven't figured everything out yet, but optogenetics has great potential. We can further study and understand how the brain functions. We could also reduce symptoms of Parkinson's disease, addiction, social behavior abnormalities, chronic pain. Whoa, this says we could use it to restore vision in the future. Maybe I could get rid of these glasses. Well, it's definitely exciting to speculate. Hey, anyway, hand over that flashlight, I don't trust you.